In this video, we're going to look at the new app ratings and find out what your ratings are on an application that you built. This is a new preview feature for Power Apps and is available currently only on Power Apps model driven applications. You can find your ratings by going to the apps list, going to the ellipse, and clicking on ratings. Now, if you have ratings, they'll show up here, or if you don't have any ratings, they'll look like this, and you'll get the sad face telling you that you don't have any ratings at this time. We'll talk in a little bit about how to collect ratings, but let me swap in some ratings so we have something to look at. As you can see on this, my app satisfaction score is 106. That's not great, but it's not awful. It could be worse. We'll look at some details on what the ranges are in a minute. You also can see that you get satisfaction by device, so you can see if users are more satisfied on mobile versus web, as well as the score trend over time, and also satisfaction by browser to see if browsers impacting how satisfied users are about your application. The goal here is to give you some insight into whether your application is liked by users. Now, let's talk about a couple of things. First, how do we collect this data? Well, Microsoft displays a dialog that looks just like this, asking for the user's feedback. Quite honestly, a lot of the users probably will just swat it away because they'll be annoyed by it popping up in their face. But nonetheless, you may get some valuable feedback. They can choose very satisfied, satisfied, dissatisfied, or very dissatisfied, and they can give you some ways that you can improve, which might be valuable. We'll talk about where that data is collected at so you can look at the details. Now this breaks down into an app satisfaction score that's calculated using this formula. So essentially the way to think about it is 1 to 100 is a poor score, 100 to 140 is a fair score, 140 to 160 is a good score, and 160 to 200 you're rocking it with a great app score. You probably don't have to worry about anything with your app. Now Microsoft has some guidelines for how frequently they prompt a user. The goal is to never prompt a user more than once in 90 days for the same app. Now if a user uses a lot of apps and qualifies otherwise, they may see a prompt for each app within those 90 days. Now let's talk about where all this data is collected. We'll go over to our table list and we'll see that a new table has been added to all environments called user rating. Now administrators have full access to this table and they can drill in and do some interesting reporting on it, but you can see this, but you can see the columns that are available, comment. So if you wanted to get that detailed comment that the user was recording, you can grab that. It has the organization ID, the device, all kinds of good stuff, including the score that you can do some extra reporting on. So you might simply just browse the data. You might also, if you're really creative, take this and pull it into Power BI and create some analytics on it. So that's a quick look at app ratings. So next time you see that dialog pop up, maybe you wanna reconsider actually giving some feedback or encouraging your users to give feedback when they're prompted.